You got the touch. You got the power. Hey guys, Unicraba here and welcome to another episode of The Playroom. You're probably wondering, why is this two days late? And it is because of one thing. It's freaking Toy Fair 2013! And I wanted to wait as long as possible, just, well not as long as possible, I just wanted to wait long enough so that you guys can get as much information as humanly possible. And, oh my gosh, so much Freaking toy news. You're probably wondering why I'm sounding so jittery. It's because all the stuff that I've found out's gonna come out soon is making my head slowly break apart. Get ready, this video might be a tad long. Alright, first off, let's start with the biggest friggin' news. Because it's the 30th anniversary for Transformers, the Generations line's getting a butt ton of awesome figures. Starting off, with a 24 inch tall Metroplex. This thing is apparently bigger than friggin Unicron. Possibly making it the second biggest um, Transformer Hasbro has made. Second to Fortress Maximus. Not entirely sure about that, but still. This friggers huge. And then on top of that, we got tons of in-hand pictures of of the next line of Beast Hunters figures. We've got a picture of the Supreme Class Optimus and Predaking. Optimus looks a little retarded with his disc backpack, but the Predaking looks amazing. We've got freaking pictures of the Voyager Shockwave. And on top of that, he comes with Beast Hunters armor, but it's freaking removable, so he looks amazing. We got pictures of the Voyager Ultra Magnus that we stated that I talked about last week. But, and I was right. Dude is, apparently is, a retool of first edition Optimus Prime. We got pictures of Ratchet. He looks terrifying. And by terrifying, I mean I'm not touching that thing. And we also had an interesting reveal. We're getting a deluxe Dreadwing. And he looks like a moth made love to a chicken. It's really, really freaking awkward. But yeah, we got those, and they look awesome. But the biggest news I gotta talk about, though, is the Generations figures. If you remember last week, I talked about how they were going to have Generations Voyager triple changers. I was right about one of them. The first one is going to be Springer. The second is Blitzwing. And dude looks like... They took the animated Blitzwing, and they made him into a modernized Transformer, and he looks awesome. Everything about this dude looks awesome. We got pics of, um... Oh, this is the thing. There are... there For generations, they're going with the IDW Comics looks, and they look awesome. We got pictures of Orion Pax. And Orion Pax looks incredible. Like, I never thought I would say this, but I want to get a... This is the first time ever I want an Orion Pax. It looks awesome. It comes with an axe and it comes with the IDW Spotlight like comic. It looks great. We got pictures of the next Megatron we're getting. And he's going with this black stealth fighter look from the comics. And that's a version that I've really always wanted to figure for. And now we're getting one. I gotta say, if they do this right, this might just become my favorite Megatron in my collection. Everything about this news is driving me up the wall. My god. Again, with Beast Hunters, we got a good look at some new figures that are coming out, such as, um, what's his face is named? His name is Grimwing, and he's a weird vulture griffin guy. And we got a good look at the Predacons. Like, everything just, ah! Oh! I'm sorry that I'm rambling, but every, this is a big friggin' year. We also got um, a new addition to the Year of the Snake Platinum figures. So far we've had the Omega well, Supreme, the Optimus Prime, but now we're getting a Supreme, uh, Platinum Edition Ultra Magnus, which is a retool, again, of the Weaponizer's Optimus Prime, and he comes with the Forge of Solus Prime, which is pretty friggin' awesome. Um, also, side note, the Voyager... Ultra Magnus also comes with it, but it looks like they're not painting it. It's just a flat gray, but that's something anyone could really fix. Um, we also have pics of the 
Constructabots, which is a new Transformers line that they're trying to do, it it feels a lot like the equip. It's like if you know, like how like with Le like with Bi with um Lego, they had the Lego figures. Transformers had the Creos. Legos had Bionicles. I feel the Constructabots are Creos answer or Transformers answers to Bionicles. And I'll be honest, I'm not too interested in them. There's a little meh to me, but maybe if I see them in person, things will be different. We got um, rescue bot toys and stuff, but I'm not a rescue bot collector. And there's um, oh, for those of you who are bot shot collectors, they showed a ton of new bot shots, and it looks like they're expanding from just G1 to a bunch of different universes. I saw what appeared to be a uh, Cybertron Optimus Prime in the mix it's it's looking cool and now i think i bet you guys think that oh that's it there's so much friggin stuff we can't possibly have any more new stuff in the mix well guess what we have two more things to friggin talk about and these two things will make bricks be shat and it's one toys r us exclusives two what are those toys r us exclusives three first one is an mp11 acid storm that's not big news, but still, it's an acid storm, which no, which we thought we were going to get when they gave us Sunstorm, but still, friggin' acid storm. But that's not the biggest news. The biggest news is that we are getting a Toys R Us Masterpiece Soundwave, and he's coming with all five Masterpiece Cassetticons. I'm talking Ravage, Rumble, Frenzy, what's it called? Laserbeak, and Buzzsaw. We are getting all five of them in... in Soundwave in one delicious package, and he's coming out in July. Guess who's pre-ordering that mother fudger as soon as he's on ToysRUs.com? Because I'm not letting those freaking scalpers beat me to it. <gasps> so much freaking news, and I know I'm like not being the most professional right now, but it's just because this... Everyone was saying that last year was a great year for the Transformers. Hell, me and Lex are trying to agree that last year was a great year for the Transformers. But this is for the 30th anniversary, and Hasbro is going all out. And it's incredible. If anything, this will be the year of Transformers until, for the, until like the next five years. And I am so pumped for it. So thank you guys for watching me basically have five minutes of nerdgasm and stop on next time we try to make reviews at least twice a week and next week the playroom is back again this is unicronobot signing off